Matthew, you play a character called Avisa Steve in this film, yeah. don't you? He's the brother of one of the lead characters. Yeah, yeah. Now, what was it like kind of getting into the head of Avisa Steve? Because he's a bit of a character, to say the least, isn't he? Yeah, um, I think getting into it, into his head started when they put the extensions in my hair. Because um, I, I had like curtains, you know, like that went down to here. And that was like, as soon as they had them in, I was in the 90s again, and that I had curtains when I was younger as well. And um, but getting it, getting to know someone like that, I mean, I, I know a few people like Ibiza Steve, so we had sort of references to use. Um, but he's a bit of a bit of an arsehole, to be honest. <laughs> but you know, I mean, I think at the time, I think people in the 90s and in, in, in Manchester, they'd sort of life was probably a bit a bit shit, to be honest. And then so any opportunity to escape from that. You know, drugs, drink, a beefer. It would, you know, you sort of you go for it, you know, and you don't really think about the consequences because there wasn't much consequence to what you did because nothing was as, you know, I suppose it couldn't get any worse. You know what I mean? So, um, but a bit, yeah, beefer stay. I mean, it was a good, it's just a great character to play. Yeah. And what made that period kind of stand out for you as well? And what sort of memories do you have of that time? I think the well the hair for a start like the curtains and all that and um, and the clothes as well I think to be honest when it got to the 90s everything had been done by the looks of it and then anyone everyone in the 90s who were trying to be original just thought what's left you know and it, no one had done mushroom haircuts no one had done uh, curtains and no one had washed bright shell suits and um, baggy t-shirts so it, I think yeah it's, it's the clothes and it's the whole sort of style of the time is is pretty unique just to ask you finally, what are you up to next, Matthew? Um, I'm doing. Uh, well, I've just I've just finished on the Paradise, and then uh, I'm doing Poirot, the last Poirot, and uh, I'm doing a BBC one-off drama, and then hopefully I'll do some theatre.